let me just start by saying uh, we don't know what we are doing, uh, but we like to learn as much as possible. Um, lots of YouTube. YouTube is our friend. <laughs> Uh, so we thought we'd just put together this video, uh, mainly time lapse of everything we were doing in order to protect our RV, um, aka our home. So we've just recently moved um, again, and I can touch base on that if people are interested. Let me know in the comments. But uh, for now, we tried to build an overhang. So here, uh, digging lots of holes. Lots of holes were dug, <laughs> um, gained lots of muscle, uh, Tyler taught me a lot, uh, he, uh, here he's just leveling out for the uh, concrete brick to go in and be level and then I'm going to come in with some cement, lovely, lovely cement and fill her up. <laughs> Sorry about the butt. Tyler's really great for being a perfectionist with this kind of stuff. Um, he will measure everything, make sure it's level, all that stuff that you have to normally do when uh, construction is being done. But if it were me, I would have eyeballed everything like an artist does, or this artist at least, and uh, it probably would have been a, let's say a shit show. So it's probably a really good thing that I didn't do this. Um, very, very uh, grateful for Tyler and his knowledge and his his want to learn more and more constantly. He is uh, my best friend and he's my inspiration. Here I'm just digging a hole, a trench I guess, uh, for our internet cable. Um, trying to get everything underground so no one's tripping over a bunch of crap. And then the good old concrete pour, and that's always fun. Again, we're just, basically we're just two kids trying to learn how to do everything on our own. Uh, no, no real schooling, like university or anything like that, but uh, we just want to learn and do things ourselves. And if we fail in the process, well, that's okay, because that's how you learn. All right, time for some wood. That is indeed what she said. Right about now we are saying, oh, these are pretty big pieces of wood. But uh, we figured it out. 
Tyler here is making a nice little shim for this piece so that it's tight because there are a couple that were a little bit wider than the other ones. So just making it work. We did this on a massive budget. Next to everything was just about free, uh, reused, whatever. Um, we don't make a lot of money and we are still trying to uh, recuperate funds. Since moving, um, we just moved from Oregon back to Canada. Um, so yeah, uh, we are doing this uh, as resourceful as possible. Right now I am looking at how sketchy and tall these uh, poles are and if we have uh, done this correctly. <laughs> so basically we're trying to add support now, get ready for the roof. Um, yeah, we're trying to protect our RV from all the weather, uh, snow, rain, trees that fall bird shit, whatever it may be, because it is our home and we have to protect it. We decided to do the tiny living life about a year ago. Uh, we both have been into it for a very long time and we finally made a dream reality with tons of hard work. Um, we just don't stop working. Probably the heaviest wood I have ever lifted and held by my arms, uh, as you see here, uh, just helping Tyler. Uh, it was wet and heavy and old, <laughs> so that was fun. Uh, I gained lots of muscle. Uh, Tyler's little helper, he, he did a lot of it on his own, but uh, as you can see, he needed me for a good amount of things, but I also want to be a part of everything. I like to learn with him. Uh, I just don't have the knowledge he has. So here is the part I did not like very much because the bracing wasn't all the way in yet so it was a little wobbly up there and uh, I am scared of heights but I powered through it and he passed me all the plywood and then we uh, started screwing on the roof. <laughs> Literally? I don't know. Um, yeah, so that was fun. Got all the plywood up. Okay, so it's really wet and we've been waiting for this day for a long time. Oh, you're chainsawing it? Oh, oh no. 
Oh yeah, we have the jungle hang so that we don't get wet and I'm not using it. But now I am. <laughs> Oh my god. Here's the rage. He's fixing our driveway so it's we don't get stuck. And he's having fun at the same time. Did you tell him that you wanted that section to be no. dug out of it? Oh, it's my buddy. You're my little buddy, aren't you? Oh, you're my little buddy. Oh, thank you. Ha ha, I thought. I had you in a headlock, you couldn't get away. You're lucky I let you go. You're lucky I let you go. You're lucky I let you go. Oh, lug nuts. And yeah, well, the rest of the video is pretty much just us taking down this power pole, which was uh, probably going to fall on our house at some point, maybe not. But uh, it was rotten, hollow, and it needed to come down, so we are so happy to finally get it down. Uh, and then we finally got rid of our really muddy, treacherous driveway. It doesn't look like much, but we have even had a friend in four-wheel drive get stuck. <laughs> it was slick. So now we are graveled and laid out, and it's looking so much better. Uh, if you guys want to see more updates on what we've been doing and how it's going, definitely let me know in the comments or what you would like to see. Um, that's about all I got for you right now. Take care, groove on! <laughs>